going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, this is gonna be a wonderful day. And today is Friday. God damn it, Venus Day doesn't really much doesn't really mean much to me. But all I have to say is that you know we're approaching the new moon in Cancer right now. We're in Cancer season right now in general. So you know, Cancer season has to do with the heart energy. So at this time, you know, make sure you're working on your emotions and stuff like that. Make sure you're expressing care and stuff because we're literally actually transmuting and altering these organs inside of us, and we're actually replacing them with cells entities spirits that are actually higher vibration on a percentage level this way we don't have to be stuck in this realm with the thoughts and feelings that the shadow government have already orchestrated for us but without further ado man let's get into this video you know right now we're talking about the mind is a pulsating light form right because you have to look at what you gave life to right now as a spirit operating through this mind to the point that this body that you created that's a pulsating form right because the mind that you created as a spirit the mind that you came into, that you condensed here through your mother and father, that was the light form of agreeable thoughts and feelings that you was experiencing in the other cycles. So when you incarnate into this cycle, you literally just recreate that shape and form. Now it could be, you could, you could make that form heavier to the point that you're more density, aka hell. You don't have mental freedom to move around. So you don't like, you're not a free spirit, you're a captured spirit. Or you can create a lighter light form by getting out of these cycles and removing these uh, toxic, parasitical thoughts and feelings that don't really allow you to move in a way that actually, actually just, you know, resonates on a higher vibration and shit like that, right? But yeah, let's get right into this. I have some shit written down right now so we can just get right into it. So just like how our organs have a fluid cycle of a shape and form, whether it be in our lungs that breathe air, a heart that circulates, or a gut that breaks down food, similarly, the mind operates based upon similar mechanics existences and spirits is moving through us as mental forms that become condensed into physical aspects because a lot of people think that whatever that your blood the spirits incarnating in that now think about when people have like blood clots and stuff like that that's because people are unable to process information so when you can't actually when you're not when you're stuck in a negative cycle you're basically going to manifest biological problems but it all starts from a micro level was it, was it macro? Yeah, micro that become macro. Which becomes light, becomes density. Because everything starts from a thought, it starts from a feeling. Before you even manifest, before you even marry someone, before you're even dating someone, before you even have that dream job, dream work, or create that dream lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? It all starts with a thought and a feeling that accumulates and that accumulation becomes uh, a snowball going down the hill. So now you're accumulating what you want to bring into reality. But we're not what we accumulate. We're the spirit that sits back and observe these things and builds those, uh, you know, thoughts and feelings and stuff like that. As, as we add on good habits onto our space, into our lifestyle, things that are actually helping us resonate higher with better spirits, better thoughts and feelings and shit like that. Better feelings, better visions of how we can bring about the reality you want to bring. Better communication skills, being able to be sharper with your words, because the word itself is the sword. Before they even made a sword, before they even made a word, they understood that, that they were talking about the air element. They were talking about intellect, communication, logic. And think about the modern day lawyers, right? If you can organize your words better than someone else, you'll be more eloquent in battle. It's just you using the air element better than them. It's not to, be it's not to try to be better, but it's just, you know, as you become a greater spirit, you start to move through all these existences, be it your visions, your feelings, you know, the way you communicate and the way you practicalize things in a way better way because the people in this world, since they have a firmament over their head, since they have a mental paradigm that they can't get out of because God is really just all that is possible. They stick in one possibilities and they have one devil, one spirit sucking their energy all day and they literally pray to it because they feel incapable, they feel insecure, but the thing that's making them feel incapable, insecure, is that very same religion, that very same educational institution that they're going to because you're being indoctrinated, you're being educated on some bullshit, real stuff. First, but yeah. So existence and spirits is moving through us as mental forms that become condensed into physical aspects. So, you know, our characteristics, whether someone is very selfish, that's an aspect they accumulated by their life experiences or by watching their mom and dad and then thinking that, yeah, they needed it to protect themselves or whatever it is, you know? A lot of the times we got to learn to reach a balanced equilibrium centripetal energy so we're not swayed too much by people, places, and things. But part of it is going through situations that are unfamiliar to you so you can learn to build up the mental muscle so this way that new situation is not so crazy to you because a lot of people can't accept love in their life because a lot of times 
they've been hated or some shit like that. A lot of people can't accept what's good for them because their whole life they've resonated with negative shit. So they build up these negative aspects and they believe that's them, but they don't realize that they're actually the motherfucking spirit behind these motherfucking things, yo. Yeah, so the whole body's basically a series of interconnected systems and you're experiencing this mind and your spirit is moving through these things. Like, a lot of times people have like a blocked heart chakra so then not, they may not be able to experience that faculty because that's a whole, they're missing a whole vibrational spectrum. So they're missing, they're missing a whole part of reality. Sometimes people ain't fucking nothing like that. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. It just depends on the time we're at and shit like that. It makes it harder sometimes because people be flunked out and shit and the shit that don't even matter. Because people don't even be using their like root chakra energy right or their sacral energy right, their ability to travel internally and externally. But the point being is that, for example, you can have a blocked throat chakra and this is part of the temple of God, right? So these different faculties, these different parts of the body, we're building these things up so you can actually do greater things. But people give these abilities to some devil, deity of this world that they follow not realizing that all you're gonna get back is breadcrumbs. That fool, the magicians, the wizards running that shit, the circle of people running that shit, they the ones reaping the most benefit. You're sitting back giving your energy, your time. That's like showing up to a workplace that's not even like paying you right. So it's like you gotta ask yourself something Something might be wrong with you then. If you purposely putting yourself amongst people, places and things, situations and circumstances that are not in your benefit unless you actually thought negatively of yourself, unless you devalued yourself, unless you was born amongst a family, circumstance, created situations, accumulated experiences, because your spirit was still, it, it didn't know that it was in jail. So you had to go through a bunch of negative experiences first for you to realize, oh shit, my spirit is in jail. Let me get the fuck out of here. And the, the less you do that, you're just gonna create extreme situations in your life to even get out of it because your spirit really subconsciously you want to be free and your spirit will show you representations even if you're in your dreams of people that are free you, people i have even old friends that low-key hate me right now because of where i'm at mentally because they can't fuck with me and nobody can fuck with me to be honest with you so they look at it like they have dreams about me because they, they spirit subconsciously look at me like that's what that's what it want to be that's the space you want to go but they can't because they too busy spending time in jail right? They're too busy giving up the energy. So they ex exhausted. I have a lot of energy because literally like I'm actually engaging with my purpose. I'm resonating with high vibrational spirits, not shit, not heavy spirits that are depressed, sad. That's being heavy. That's being slowed down. Down to even when you say it, when you talk about the energy of going down, that's just you talk about being depressed. Something you're carrying a weight that your spirit don't like. Think about what your mom and dad used to make you do things that you don't like to do. Homework, because that's, that's not what your spirit wanted to do. See, the education system, the religion, all these things, that your, your spirit don't want to uphold these things. If anything, your spirit want to create its own version of those things based upon its own observation and its own experiences. But see, y'all be, be, be giving you guys day experiences so y'all can get their insecurities because the people that run the, the world, the Jews, the Jesuits and shit like that. And not, not to say all Jews because Jews is like a six dimensional transition. But at the same time though, I don't even like that either because if you're really aware, you can just create your own six dimensional transition, meaning that, you know, you can create, become your, create your own knowledges, create your own representations, create your own illustrations of what the fuck that is. You can become that balanced pillar and have compassion and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it just be based upon a lot of lostness, a lot of, a lot of negative seeds planted in the mind early and just based off having parents that are just negatively vibrating negatively themselves. They're gonna put you in that mood as well, and you're gonna think that's what's normal because they're gonna justify it with their logic. Oh, we need to pray to this God because we wanna go to heaven. Yet, yet they've never seen that heaven in their life. So heaven is nothing but a state of mind. And if you look at their mind, and if they're not in heaven right now mentally, they're not happy, they're not excited, they're not childish, they're not giddy, they're not, like, their mind's not open to new possibilities, that means they've lost that childhood. So it's like, I don't know what they be talking about. They be losing their hair early, all types of shit. So I don't know, uh, whatever spirit y'all be resonating with or these people be resonating with, it be a spirit that be more on a percentage level against them. They just be, they just, they just can't see in the dark. It's just mental illness, mental blindness and shit. So when we talk about this temple of God in biblical terminology is referred to as the temple of the spirit. And you know, in astrology, because you know, the temple of the spirit, just like I explained earlier, this whole body is a manifestation of aspects characteristics and we make our own wheel we have our own perspective about this wheel of time we're in one person stands at being cold one person stands at being hot one person stands at being you know 
very happy. One person stands at being like very distant mentally though, like watchful type shit, like Scorpio type energy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think not Sc Scorpio and Leo is square, but basically everyone has a position within this wheel of time. Everyone has a, uh, a series of interconnected positions that they create an ether system at because the way your heart chakra operates, the way you created your moon sign, the way you created your solar plexus, how you take action, what you have courage in, the way you created just your, your throat chakra, what you think about, what you, how you communicate, how you analyze, all these things are unique to your own space. All these things are unique to your spirit and shit like that. So when they talk about terminologies in the Bible, like the temple of the, the temple of God, they talk about this body. Don't ever get that twisted. And the pure spirit is what move through this body because you become aware of different parts of your body. You become aware of your third eye, your first eye. You start uh, having introspections about things, Neptunian natures, imaginations and stuff about the world because that's based on your own subjectivity. Then you have your own throat chakra. You might want to speak something. So that's going to be an area that your spirit is going to go into more. But we, we're all in these areas simultaneously. Our whole body is being animated at the same time So because our spirit... Like it moves fast, especially if you're, that's, that's why I said earlier, that's why that's important. When your spirit moves fast, you're gonna be animated to do things faster and shit like that. Cause it's about purpose, it's about having a mission. It's about vibrating with, 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 with better spirits so you can resonate and bring down better thoughts and feelings. And the people around you will be able to experience that feel, that space. Versus having a mentally fucked up, depressed, sad, clogged up mind, like a clogged, like a fucking toilet. Cause I'm matching these things as above, so below. When your toilet is clogged, you can't process when somebody take a shit. So somebody took a shit on you, but you can't even process that because it's like your mental toilet is clogged. You're depressed. You're sad. You're heavy. You're like, that's like being that's like being in waters that's developing a lot of bacteria, a lot of viruses, all because like it, it lack movement. So you're like in in, in a space in a, in waters where you can't even swim through because it's it's so much darkness there. You gotta start doing the process of subtraction so you can start subtracting things from there or just literally just paying attention to other things so you can subtract on its own because once you pay attention to something else and give your awareness of something else, that's what's gonna accumulate naturally. But you're gonna have to fight that early fight of your sp your spirit being, being against your flesh because once it's fresh, it's, this flesh right here is programmed at an early age, right? Because it's not just you. Once you incarnate into your family, circumstance, religion, education, politics, whatever it may be, Whatever other people project on you, that's going to be things that you accumulate as well. So if your mom and dad yelled at you a lot, if people force you to do things, like especially if people were yelling at you a lot, verbally abusing you and shit, because I know I, was, I dealt with that a lot, that's going to be like a spirit that they're going to be projecting on you. So your body's going to resonate with that because your cells, because your, your whole body, your cells, is a telecommunication system. We all subconsciously communicate with other people. Down to even when you when you look at people in the eye when you're walking down the road, you're channeling motherfuckers. So we're all channeling each other's energy. Or we're all becoming aware of each other's energy. But when you become more angelic on a percentage level, just keep in mind that it's going to irritate a lot of demons. It's going to irritate a lot of people that are vi vibrating low because they're not going to understand. Because they're going to be so stuck in the physical trying to find a Quran or a book or some type of scientist. Some type of like... Oh, I went to Harvard. Them niggas ain't shit. Get the fuck out of here. Let me know. Let me know what they talking about. They all stuck in the left brain, so they can only be good repeaters, regurgitators. Just repeat someone else's shit. They don't got their own shit. And if you do repeat someone else's shit, at least know how to use it, cause you're not that. So I can pick up a Quran and be way harder than the whole Muslim community. I can pick up a Bible and be way harder than the entire Bible community. Not because like. Not because they're dumb, but because they don't know what the words they're actually pointing to. Because when we talk about making a book, you have to understand a circle, yin and yang, up, down, left, right, back and forward, directional paths, like zodiac type shit, which is Masrut and the Jewish, but it's really understanding spaces that these atmospheres, the sun, the moon, the moon, the moon just being a reflection and shit like that, Mercury, Venus, understanding that these atmospheres pass through different phases, and that phase is going to make us aware or preview to a different aspect of God. And at that point, we're going to be building different cells, different structure. That's why we say, oh, there's a time for everything. So there's literally a time for every th everything too. But at the same time though, your spirit can, you know, overcome this timeline, resonate with spirits beyond this timeline. And those spirits can share their world with you and you can share their world with, with them. But they're not going to want to do that. They're not going to see your light. They're not going to see your awareness in their mind or whatever they are, in whatever form they may be at. You now I'm saying whether it's lighter on density, whether it's heavier in density, somewhere out there, it's probably a little more lighter in density, heavier in density. It just depends how you look at it and stuff like that, right? 
but they're not going to be able to perceive that unless you're a strong spirit. That's why I take a strong person to go against the government, to, to go against the religious system, to go against the scientific community, all because a lot of these people just, uh, just like, I, I guess they just like be their incapabilities. Like, since everyone around them is incapable, since everyone around them is l losing their health, their sense of well-being, they see their state of mind is deteriorating, they think it's normal for them to sacrifice their life to whatever that is, the point that, like I said, scientists lose their hair, religious people lose their hair, and they think that's normal because they sacrificing their energy to this thing that they believe is gonna bring them to heaven, but you don't understand that you gotta bring yourself to heaven yourself. Like, before there, we even made the technology of words and shit like that, there was just spirit, energy, vibration, frequency, like, mathematics already existed, we just had to observe it. It's not like, man created mathematics we created a language to understand what mathematics what's already in front of us that's what really that's, uh, that's what it really be about other than that a lot of these people just be flunked out they don't even know what they're talking about uh in the scientific religious community and shit and the only thing they're gonna get you to do is just give up how give up your mind and give your pulse your life through your spirit by you becoming more aware of they shit rather than becoming aware of something new and that's why like don't don't Go to the light. Don't go to the light. Go to the darkness. Because what's the darkness? The unknown. The emptiness. What is yet to be fulfilled. You can fulfill something. You might become a whole new water man. You might become a water dragon. Fireman. Because what you think we're doing? These elementals, we doing them right now. Why do you think, why do you even think we see some shit like, oh, I got burned? Because that's an elemental situation, circumstance. That someone walked through as a, as a stargate, as a portal, because they manifested that circumstance situation. And then they walked through a situation where they got burned. That's why we make up these words, because we're experiencing these elements, these temperaments, literally. Some, some people will be like, yo, I, ca I caught feelings. I caught, what you think? That's the water element. You got feelings. Ah, I feel. The water element is a container. So you're now, you're feeling someone. You could be watching this video, and this video can make you resonate higher, because I'm channeling my feelings. I'm channeling my thoughts. I'm channeling my construct. I'm giving people my awareness. That's me sharing my energy with the world. When I share my energy with the world, other people get to experience my energy and what I accumulated. But you want to make sure that you're doing that with positive spirits, not negative spirits, both physically on the physical level and both mentally on the mental level because you don't want to resonate with negative shit. If you know you're not, if you know it's not taking you to become fucking king, emperor, and goddess. If it's not doing that, then that's just some bullshit and you need to get out of that no matter what because... You're gonna lose your hair, your dick's gonna get small, your girl, your pussy's not gonna be wet no more. And yeah, it's just kinda fucked up to be honest. I don't even know if people fuck with that shit. It's crazy to me. Now, now that I'm outside looking in, yeah, it's kinda crazy to me. It don't make no fucking sense. I mean, I knew it never made sense when I was a kid, but when you're by yourself, it's almost like you gotta trust yourself so much. Like, you gotta have like so much self love for yourself. You gotta, you gotta just really know yourself and have awareness because people are gonna scatter your awareness. Blah, 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 like I said earlier, the world gen in general is like a traumatic experience. So people are going to traumatize you to keep you in. Because that's, that's how the system works, right? When you create a devil, you create a bunch of demons. And those demons, these legions, create more other demons and more legions of themselves. More replicas, robots, non-player characters, people that can't write their own script. And fortunately, and this shit like really be sad as shit. So, so basically just like how we accumulate sperm, blood cells, and just like how we are in our mother's womb on a physical level... On a, light, on a light level spectrum energy, whether it be low vibrational or high vibrational, beyond flesh and blood, we're really resonating with entities and spirits that incarnate within us to give us thoughts and feelings about how we should play out our lives. So if you're inside of a religion, the thoughts and feelings that's gonna be incarnating in your mind is gonna be based on the Bible, and you're gonna play out some Bible witchcraft, because a lot of the times the Jesus motherfuckers, they be sacrificing their lives for people, but they're gonna be getting a fucking penny back, and they be thinking like, oh, you need to sacrifice your life too. But that's some bullshit, and you don't need to accept their paradigm. You can just create your own paradigm, and your shit will be better than they shit. And they will have to sit back and either hate on you or just come join you at that point. Because whatever they into, they know it's not shit. But they have to destroy you because you're the representation. That's why in the Bible, like, even though I don't like the way the Catholics use the Bible, because really, like, the Roman church, these motherfuckers, they killed Jesus, wrote a book about the motherfucker, made people worship some pagan shit that they don't even know what they're doing. Like, they didn't give people the real information. So that's what pissed me off about all that Bible shit. But when you know what you're looking at, then you can just use it like a bitch because that's what it is. It's just a word. God don't give a fuck about no word. Man-made word. God was already you know, in spirit. Being the spirit. Not in the, in the word. Fuck the word. The word is just a vehicle we use to communicate. Other than that, 
I mean, the better you can do it, the more you can convince people and stuff like that, but they use it negatively. Like, politics. A politic. It's like a mosquito sucking your blood, convincing you why you should do, give more to the state. I'm gonna fight for my country. That's some bullshit. Why the hell are you gonna fight for your country? How about you fight for yourself? How about you fight for your family? How about you, how about you fight for your life? This is the fight of your life. Why are you giving the fight of your life to someone else? That's crazy to me, bro. I don't know. I don't know what these niggas be on half the time. I mean, I do know, but it's so, it's so crazy. <laughs> how else could I say it? Like, the fuck? Uh, yeah. So basically, and this is what accumulates as representations of your mental body. You know, as far as what we talked about previously, as far as your thoughts and feelings, your behaviors, your patterns, probably a negative habit pattern more on a percentage level than a positive habit pattern. So you need to start transmuting that and shit. But a lot of these things, uh, as far as your mental thoughts and feelings, your skin color, you know, your date of birth, your geographical location, your family and the circumstances you're born into and the situations you manifest through that, through that program that you, you may not be privy to the modifying, with this more on a positive or negative level, that show you what you resonated with. So if you're in a religion that's taking away your energy, that show you that you were already in a space previous in, in another lifetime where you got defeated by another spirit group. A lot of the times the ones doing it right now, they don't do it through charismatic gifts. They do it through like warfare. They do it through like forgery. They do it through like rape. They do it through like murder. They do it, they'll, these niggas, they'll snipe niggas type shit. Like my bro was just telling me the other day about how the Catholics, how the Catholic Church usurped the authority of the Eastern Orthodox Church based on them forging a fake letter when the, one of the kings of Constantinople died. And so that shows you how these people will take advantage of anything to get one arm up. That's why the world right now today, a lot of workplaces is based on backstabbing, manipulating, getting one up on somebody. Like, it's just all negative because that's, that's their world. That's their mind. That's how they built the world. So they make us, so they practice witchcraft on us to play out that version of the world for them. But if we just become aware of the program, we deprogram that shit, they're not going to have a choice other than to just die or some shit. Because, like, really, like, because really, like, whatever they be doing, it's just going to take them straight to hell. So it's like they used to be stupid on the highest level. The people running the world right now, stupid on the highest level. All these religions. I don't give a fuck for you. Islam, Christianity, nobody give a fuck if you're part of the scientific community. All that shit is garbage. Garbage. Because it's all limiting. It's just all, like, Stuff that everybody really secretly know, but just, just, they just be stuck in trying to be a consumer and not be the one who produces shit. And that's when humanity falls into the trap of dependability, relying on something outside of them, and that makes them overall a more retarded spirit. Retarded is just another term for mentally slow. Or as I said earlier, people create mental forms that are heavy, depressing, sad, and they can't move through reality freely because really like their mind is heavy. So their life just become like negative and they accumulate that cycle and become worse and worse. And they see somebody like me and they get pissed off and they start, they start hating. And the only thing they want to do is just take me down because really I'm showing them where they're supposed to be at. But they're, they're so subconsciously scared of doing the shadow work, doing the work that it takes, aka rebelling or whatever they need to do. So they just kind of stay where they at and they throw rocks at you. But whatever rocks they throw at you at that point, it's not, it's not even going to like reach you. Like it's just going to be some... That's how you know you did the work. When someone throws a rock at you and you're actually able to, and it doesn't hit you, like you're not, you don't, doesn't do anything that's not, it's based on a bias type shit. It's based on their bias point of view, their distorted perception, that it can't affect you because you already on a higher level, you're playing a higher ball game type shit. They playing that low ball game. It's like, I'm shooting basketball shots. I'm hitting like basketball nets in the ether, in the astral. They're like 500 miles away, 1,000 miles away. They trying to, Make a, throw a ball at you, you being the net, thinking you five miles away, but your mental body is so far ahead of, in evolution that whatever their capacity of thoughts and feelings, regener whatever their capacity of perception and awareness is, it don't even be nothing that got shit on you. So you become like a real G, real hard spirits. And then this, this is the age of hard fucking spirits. Because people like me, we're going to take over the world and shit. Mentally first, then physically. And you don't even have to play out in this physical life, they can play out through other lifetimes. Because literally, like, whatever hate, love they try to give you, your spirit will literally assimilate that shit and it will make you a fucking weapon. That's the thing. That's why you see, like, a motherfucker like Andrew Tate 
having a large viewership, having a large ability to affect the world because he's in the space where he understands whatever attention you give him, it's not positive or negative, so it's what you do with it, it's how you transmute it. So a motherfucker, for example, can punch you mentally, but you can parry that attack. A motherfucker can punch you, but you can block it because you're not strong enough. A motherfucker can kick you, but you can redirect that kinetic energy they just created and throw them off and use their own energy against them. Because spirits be truly foolish. They don't really be knowing what they doing. So whatever efforts they be doing, they got like weak mental kung fu. They got weak abilities. They got weak technique. Because whatever they be looking for energy from, be something outside of them. So whenever you live in the external realm, you don't know how to go inside the internal realm and actually build a mind, build a greater light mind versus a lesser light mind, then you're forever going to be lost in this world. And then you definitely go to hell. Your own hell of your own making based on lacking awareness of what's actually going on around you because niggas can't see in the dark. Real shit. So it could be more negative and positive depending on the cycle. Once you notice that pattern, that cycle, that spirit, that spiritual in nature, that started off as, as, as micro, then macro as accumulation, right? Manifest as psychological conditioning from people around us or the condition that we are in right now in this lifetime. Not physical. Remember, we're not dealing with anything external in nature, people, places, and things. We're going within and we're clearing up energies so we can make space, clearing up chakras, cleaning up clearing up throat chakras if you lack the ability to speak up for yourself or clearing up your heart chakra if you accumulate a lot of negative emotions and feelings and you know a lot of times i'd be in that space but i'd be taking that and transforming that darkness into a, into a very powerful light so that's what you got to do you got to become an alchemist you got to take your darkness your worst most hated memory situations perceived things and when you perceive them differently that cur that body of information that's inside of your mind it begins to configure itself in a way in a way according to how you perceive it and there's a lot of ways to go about this about this it's just the point is is to clear your energy so you can make your space available for more energy and shit like that uh yes yeah, so we're not doing anything external it's all internal wiring systems that have already been built up because you know a, a group of spirits will come together left brain right brain female men come together create a child so when your thoughts and feelings come together you have an offspring from that and that become like one of your thoughts and feelings. But that process mentally, it happened on a fast level. So you're getting offsprings all the time. Just make sure those offsprings, those thoughts and feelings are things more so in your favor, not things that not in your favor. Because a lot of people be inside of a cycle that they don't perceive. So it'd be things more on a percentage level that's not necessarily in their favor, but they cater to it based on, based on having done on them reverse psychology and then being stuck inside of an operational variable that's really created by the shadow government behind closed doors. Because the shadow government, they created the Abrahamic religions and shit like that. Now, there's other people that participated in, the, participated in those construct, constructs. But other times, those things get hijacked, usurped, taken over by shadow elements and used for like negative agendas based on... Because a lot of these guys don't have the gold mine. They're like the cobalt mine. So they're just builders. They don't got like... They can't, they don't have to take their spirit into that space of openness of all possibilities and make something new possible on earth. So they stay stuck with like retarded ass mental forms, develop ment retarded mental illnesses, develop retarded biological conditions, sicknesses, diabetes and shit, because they don't know what they're doing. And if you knew what you was doing, if your God taught you what you're actually observing around you, as far as what you're engaging with mentally, the people, places and things, because diet is not just food, it's also mental. So if you're not even doing those things and you're religious, claiming to be spiritual, then you're truly not spiritual. You're truly just lost in some bullshit and you can't see your way through it. That's why we all here. Because I was in that space before too. When I was in Islam, whoo, I hated that garbage. I mean, I never wanted to be a Muslim too when I was a kid anyways. I would run away from the prayers because it was garbage. My spirit knew it was garbage. But the adults around you will make you look crazy because really they crazy. But really, when you when the person that lost their mind is the person that found their mind. The person that think they found their mind, they lost their mind. Because the person that found their mind, they they found a form, but they forgot to realize that they are not that form. So then they stay stuck in that form and play that out for reality. So they can't even make a prayer ritual. The only thing they can do is consume someone else's prayer rit ritual. Because they truly lack knowledge and understanding. That's what it means to be an alchemist. That's what it means to be a wizard. That's what it means to be a witch. That's what it means to be a mage. A lot of these motherfuckers today be sorcerers, warlocks. So for example, if somebody see that I got I got some form of power, right? They might 
go to war with me by locking onto me as the target and being like, yeah, I need to rob this person of their energy because I know they got it, but I want to usurp their energy for my benefit. So they're really, a, they're playing out usurpers. They're being Satan's opposers. Not because they really want to oppose you. It's really because they oppose themselves. And it's like, they like flunked out. Their mind is fucked. But it takes a lot of times negative experiences for a spirit to even come to that space of awareness to see that, God damn it, you know what? I am just fucked up in the head. It, take a, it might take a really negative, it might take a nasty divorce. You might even have to die a few times before you to even really realize what the fuck you was into. Like real shit. Because you're going to have to get out of that mental form, that mind. You're going to have to stop giving that mind pulses, energy. Because people use the Raphael energy. Archangel Raphael, for example, just means the summer season. So when the summer season is here, it's healing. It gives things more life. You know what I'm saying? People heal, give, things, give life to things that are negative, for example. Like if you had a thought and feeling that says that I ain't worth shit, why would you heal that? Other than the fact that people have messed up in their mind. That's, that's the only way. Because how can you do, how can you partake in thoughts and feelings that are self-defeating on a more percentage level rather than partaking in things that are more positive on a percentage level? It doesn't make sense. It's just people, people was lost in witchcraft. People was lost in witchcraft. And that's just that's really all that is. Like, don't be, don't be anything else. So based upon being in a negative cycle and being born into, a, into it as a spirit, that's, that, that now we're noticing as negative. So we have to do the energy work to rewrite and re-script the subconscious operations of the mind and our organs, which are also many compartments of our spirit that it travels through to experience life. Because like I said earlier, each chakra is a compartment that your spirit travels through. Make sure you clear, clean those spaces so you can be more open to new experiences and not stuck based on past experiences, benchmarkers of what is possible. Because that's just be, that's just limiting God. That's limiting the spirit from coming through you based on what you resonate with because you're thinking about, feeling about something limited, something that already happened, took place in the past, but you're not becoming more open for something new to happen. Real stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty much done. I'm just going to read the last stuff that I have, really. So which here, which, and then which here's the thing, right? It's not an overnight process. It's a long-term commitment and obligation to yourself. You should want and need to experience yourself in a better space of awareness and existence. And what prevents people from doing that is accepting being in a state of being that is lesser than what's possible based on their logical justifications that adults around them gave to them. Education, politics, religion, all these things. Get an arranged marriage. Who the fuck told you get an arranged marriage? Like, that's stupid. Go create your own way of conducting those things. Because in Islam, for example, they do that. People get arranged marriages, but it truly be based upon them being negative. And a lot of the times... It depends, man, because it could be in your favor too, but it just depends on how your spirit is resonating because your spirit will create a favorable circumstance if you're just favorable for yourself. So it's not so much about the situation you're experiencing sometimes, it's just what you resonate with and stuff like that, right? So Because your spirit is all that's possible. You can make all things possible, even in a negative situation, but you just got to make sure that you're actually in that energy, in that space, and open enough to receive these things because then these things will come to you and shit like that on their own and stuff. But yeah, this was it for this video, man. The mind is a pulsating life form. Make sure that you give pulse and life to what you truly want to experience your highest possible good and not what other people tell you is your highest possible good. If I'm your mom and dad and I'm trying to force you into something, they're trying to for if anyone's trying to force you, if anyone's trying to gaslight you, manipulate you into doing something more in their favor, then that's per that person, that person, place, or thing, institution has a negative intention, be it the spirits that you're interacting with mentally that give you thoughts and feelings, be it the people around you, be it the institutions around you, always watch out for people's intentions. You have to learn to read intentions. If you can't learn to read intentions, you're forever gonna be in the dark. Like you're forever gonna be in the light, but the light that you perceive is gonna be your darkness because that's the only thing you're gonna see. Like you're gonna think that, oh, you're in heaven, you're gonna, you're gonna see Jesus in your mind, Allah, Buddha, Muhammad, Someone give you those pixels. You can create your own pixels. Like, like when, I, when I'm doing this, I'm, what, what, I'm, what am I doing? I'm creating my own pixels. But this starts as mental first, then physical. So when you're doing, when you're experiencing life, don't add so much weight to it right away. Be open, have faith in it, and God will give you a thought form and a feeling to help you move through that. Because the way people use, because that, that's what we're saying this whole video. Because people are psychologically conditioned and people have logical contraptions, logical mechanisms 
as ways of maneuvering through life has been thought to them, not realizing that they're not supposed to have that. Your mind is just supposed to be empty on a larger percentage level because then you become lighter. So your spirit go to more spaces, like shoot more light into spaces, bring information via resonation and shit like that, that can help you go further within that circumstance situation. So motherfuckers go online, they read dumb ass shit and I realize that they, they can be the ones that come up with that shit based on their own observations. So before we even make a cooking book about cooking, someone has to observe the alchemy of what cooking is to come up with a recipe to share with the world, to come up with a system. So when you have the Bible, when you have the Quran, when you have democracy, when you have religion, when you have education, all these things are just systemized symbols of observation, languages and shit like that people sell to you. But it's not bad. What makes them bad is not understanding what those things come from. The, the real starting point, which is the 360, the monad, understanding that your spirit, understanding that your spirit, not trapped in a form, we're observing forms. And we can create signs and sigils based on those things to create a language, to build a community, to build a relationship, to, to communicate with our environment, not just with the world, just with body language, all types of shit. So it's just about having more awareness because basically it's like this. This is the simplest way I could say it, right? If your spirit is small, a bigger Pac-Man is going to come eat your spirit. Your spirit is going to get eaten alive by something else because your spirit is not aware to move out of that or you're just so heavily stuck into something, you can't even see that shit coming. So a bigger Pac-Man than you is going to eat you esoterically if you don't develop a bigger enough awareness to actually create your own Pac-Man figure, to create your own because really, it's really a spaceship. But a lot of these emojis be representing like spirits and stuff like that. Then when you have the red emoji, that's the spirit of anger. You see someone, the, 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 the one with the curse marks and shit like that, because you're pissed off, because that represents your state of being. You can't even tell me I'm wrong. You can have the love emoji, the heart, or like the one with the face smiling and got all the hearts popping up. You're saying, I'm in love. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. So all these things, before they even make languages off these things, before they even make hieroglyphics, before they even make any of this shit, it's all based on spirits first. But see, if you're stuck into form, you're not going to be able to understand the spirit, and then you're, you're really truly going to be stuck for a long time, creating negative experiences rather than positive experiences. So the goal is to just, you know, resonate with something else that has more force on a percentage level, so we can actually start to experience the life that we want to experience. Because me, when I die, I'm not coming back to this world. I'm going to the Arch Wizard Society, the organs we're going to have is going to be some real organs where you can truly perceive light, where you can have true clairvoyance. And we all have it now, but we're just building these things up because we're creating a, a form that can mimic like most on, most on a percentage level. Because what is light? Just different, just cond condensing of different elementals. So light can cause fire, water, air, how we communicate, earth, how we practicalize this body and shit like that. And these things are just... I can get deep into it right, right now in this video, but I'm not going to do that because this video is not about that. This video is just the mind is pulsating on an astral form. You know, I just want to tell, remind everybody, it's, can, it's the new moon in Cancer. Make sure you're feeling good. Make sure you're creating uh, thought feelings especially that are more so in your favor. Whatever your goal is in life, make sure that your feelings tell you that yes, this is possible for you. So your feelings should be supporting you, not being against you. So Because negative feelings is like self-hatred, envy, Blah, 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 jealousy. These are feelings that are not non-productive. You want to have feelings that are... It's not about feeling good. It's just about vibrating high because you're engaging in your purpose. You're, you're saying something new is possible for me. And it's not about feeling good all the time, but just right now, based on the transition we're in, you want to build that system up inside of your heart chakra or, you know, detox from whatever you're in and shit like that. With that being said, man, I appreciate everybody. The goddamn Royal Arch Wizard is out. I'm going to go eat some fish. Because I'm experimenting with um, eating water, foods that are related to the water, or just biologic, or just bioforms that swim through the water environment. Because that's what we're learning to navigate through in this uh, time right now. The sun is in Cancer, the Venus is in Cancer. You got the moon. The moon is in Cancer, going in the new moon and shit like that. And I think uh, I think that's it. Yeah. With that being said, everybody, peace out. All love, and I'll see y'all in the next video tomorrow. Peace out.